Okay, so we're going to have a look at how we can uh, keep confidentiality and also to show uh, some authentication of a message. Okay, so just to recap, uh, what we have is uh, symmetric, asymmetric encryption methods that focus on confidentiality. So with uh, an algorithm such as AES, we define a single key and that key is used to encrypt and then to decrypt. So that's really defining the confidentiality of the message. But how can we make sure that the message hasn't been changed at all? So with that, we often use a hash signature through some sort of one-way function. So an AES CCM, which is counted with CBC Mac, what we do is we take our plain text, we take our key in the normal way, uh, and then we encrypt with AES. We also add an IV vector in there, uh, some numerical value, and then that gives us our cipher with our message authentication code that goes along with the cipher text. On the other side, the same key is used and uh, with the IV vector and the MAC code that's authenticated with the key. So only if the key is correct can we actually authenticate the message. If the MAC is not correct then the cipher will not be uh, decoded. So let's have a look at this. So it's AES CCM. We're using 128 bit encryption here. Okay, so this is the code that we've used. So we'll feed in some text, and we'll feed in a key, and then we'll use an initialization vector of 2. Okay, so this is the code. So in here, uh, if it's true, then we encrypt. If it's false, then we do a decrypt. So our IV vector hopefully has came through. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enable the initialization vector and the key as a byte array. Okay, so if we look at that, there's our IV vector. 32 bits. And then for our key, we're using a 64-bit key in this case. And so what we'll do is we then will initialize the input buffer. Okay, so there's our message, F-R-E-D. And here uh, we define our key. We'll define the, the, mes the message hash size and this is the IV vector that we have. We're going to define that we're using the ES and we're using CCM as a block cipher. We'll initialize it, get the output buffer, so in this case we'll need 12 bytes for our output buffer, and then we just process. So this now contains, this should now contain output cipher stream. So then we'll convert that. We'll get the message code first, message authentication code first. Okay, so that's our Mac. And then what we'll do is we'll convert that into our output hex stream. And the next time we come back in, we're going to decrypt. So here is what we're decrypting. That's the cipher stream. In this case, we'll be hitting this line. And that's going to convert our uh, cipher stream into a byte array. 
there we go. So that's laid out in terms we've taken our hex and converted that into a byte array because it's byte arrays that we deal with. Okay. So now do we just go through the same procedure. In this case, uh, our when we initialize, then we set the encrypt here to a uh, false, which means we will decrypt. This is our input buffer, as we can see. So that's the cipher stream, and then what we should get on the output buffer is the decrypted text, which hopefully says FRED. Okay, so then when we run through, there we go. So that gives us input of FRED, there's our key, our initialization vector, there's encrypted, there's our MAC, and then there, there's the decrypted.